There we go. I'm now out of the Discord, so they can't hear me anymore. And that means I can make plans. Um, oh, <laughs> Mike has killed himself already. That's a good start to the run. Um, I need to find a car that isn't the pink Voltic because the Volt, the, the, re the reason I spawn in in a pink Voltic is so that if I do start near a bit too close to any of the hunters, I can get away from them and find and sort of start the runoff sensibly because the Voltic is one of the best cars in the game. Um, however, <clears throat> I'm not. I can't take checkpoints in it. I'm simply the game simply won't let me. So you're not allowed to take checkpoints if you're in a supercar. So I'm going to take this instead. I'm going to have another habanero because it went really well last time. So yes, we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint, and we are playing it in rainbow mode. And that means, as I was saying earlier, all of the cars that spawn in basically appear in the colour of the hunt of the nearest hunter of uh, the nearest player. So around me we get lots of pink cars, around Tristan we'll get lots of purple cars, around Pete we'll get green cars, and so on and so on. And so the, everyone drives around and they'll be generally surrounded by a cloud of vehicles in their own colour. So I can see I can see lots and lots of pink ones and that means I can feel reasonably safe. And so I'm going to run this red light because I think I'm probably fairly safe here. Um, and this one as well. But at some point, there we go, there's a yellow car ahead of me. So, so when I see that car, I know that Ed is somewhere nearby he was he was the person who caused that car to spawn in and there's another yellow car so Eddie's somewhere in this in the vicinity um, I'm in America and they have weird laws there so I'm gonna turn right on a red and that's actually legal which is a bit weird but you know you get it, it's one of those things um, so yes as I see yellow cars I know there's loads of them and there's a blue car as well so Max is somewhere around as well but they're mostly yellow so probably Ed is the nearest hunter but there's a lot of hunters around here oh, and there's 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 that's an orange car driving badly, so that's actually Mike. Um, he's driven straight past me though, so I'm I'm, I'm going to carry on. Um, we're going to we're going to head down this way because this is where I want to go. I also have my eye on that Audi next to me. Um, Mike's coming back again. That's a problem. Okay, Mike has decided to attack me, um, which is unfortunate, and he's probably seen what I look like as well by now. And he's going to be telling everyone that I'm disguised as Pete because Pete always plays with this character model, which is part of the reason I chose it because the idea amused me. Um, but, yes, Mike attacked this car because it was the only pink one around. Um, so, being in a pink car is an, is a bit of a disadvantage. And I was actually planning to change into one of those yellow cars. And if Mike hadn't attacked me then, if I'd been able to carry on moving... Oh, that's a big slide. Habanero is a slidey. Uh, let's go this way. Right. Um, so, yes, if, um, if Mike hadn't attacked me then, I was going to switch into a yellow car. And that is... Not only is it allowed, it's also it's also encouraged. It because I mean, otherwise they'll, they'll it, it, yeah. I, it's good it's good for me to be in a car of somebody else's colour because it makes it makes it a bit easier for um for me to blend in. However, it's also a bit of a gamble because the hunters if if the hunters turn up and they see loads of pink cars, then they can't assume that one of them they can't assume that any of them are me because it's probably going to be especially if there's lots of them because um. Because I'm always surrounded by pink cars. Oop, that was very, very close. Suddenly a Tristan out of nowhere. Um, yeah, if I'm if there's lots of pink cars, they don't know which one's me. And there should usually be lots of pink cars around me. Um, but if I get into a yellow car and Ed is nowhere nearby, then I might well be the only, only yellow car in the area. Oh, I was trying to slow down. It didn't work. <laughs> My plan there, which didn't go, didn't work at all, was to jam on the brakes, drop down relatively slowly, and then be able to uh, turn around and go back under the, um, go back under the uh, the overpass in the opposite direction. Oh, that was a bad corner because it's an SUV. <laughs> yeah, I know I keep complaining about cars not being able to corner properly, but when I'm driving muscle cars and SUVs, it just they just don't. <laughs> what can I say? Get out of the way, Mike. Yeah. What? Punt. <laughs> oh, how am I going to get out of here? Like this. Okay, right, we're moving again. Um, Woo! When you say staying in the starter vehicles, well, I, I, I could stay in the I could stay in the Voltic, but I wouldn't be able to take any go. I wouldn't be able to take any checkpoints because you can't you, you aren't allowed to take checkpoints in supercars, so the game simply won't let you. There's I can't even cheat and do it. Um, I could get out, jump out of it, grab grab a checkpoint, and then jump back in again. But basically, you can't take checkpoints if you're in a supercar. So there's no point in sticking in the um, in, there's no point in sticking in the supercar at the start. Um, <clears throat> yes, it's nice and quick, and it will allow me to get out of trouble. But also, it'll get me into trouble because it's really, really obvious. Because it's a oh goodness sake, because it's a bright pink Baltic, as I previously mentioned. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I seem to be getting seriously dogpiled here. This is problematic. 
Right, let's maybe this way. Is this way safe? Can I go back across the bridge? I can go back across the bridge. Can I do so safely? I'll duck because I'm getting shot at. Right, uh, yes, the hunters win by, by uh, killing me. If the, if the hunters manage to... Whoa, there's, there's two of them like right behind me. I didn't realise they were quite so close. Um, I would like to do an end or breaking manoeuvre, but there's no point... In, oh, oh Peter's, Peter's come a cropper. That's good. That's one fewer hunter right behind me then. Let's try and corner here. Habanero does not like corners. Um... I think Tristan might be a slightly better driver than me. However, I have an advantage because I can go wherever I want. He has to go wherever I'm going. So if I do some sort of wild, wacky, slidey, accidental manoeuvre and take a corner that I didn't really mean to take, then I can just keep going in that direction at full speed. Um, he has to then also, he has to do take whatever route I take. Whoa, two wheels, that's a problem. Let's try going down here onto the lower highway. Um, whoa, crunch padded. At least that was padded. Nope, he's there again. Problem is here, he's got a heavier SUV than I have. So when he rams into me, <laughs> I come off worse. So the, the um, for the hunters, it's quite useful to have a really, really heavy vehicle. For me, not so, there's no, they, I don't have the same sort of advantage because it tends to make them slightly harder to drive. Um, how did that go? Ooh, quite well. Yes, they've got snarled up behind me. I'm trying to get through that narrow point. Great. That's got me away a little bit. So now I can bomb it back down over this way. Uh, they're going to see have seen where I went. But hopefully I can then come off this junction here. Yes, I can. I think I've... I think I've... I did see a max-coloured vehicle up there, but it was a truck. So I don't think it was him. So I'm going to go off-road. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to disappear into here. And... Because they don't have a circle now, they're going to have a. It's going to be harder than normal for them to find me again. So, um, yes. What am I going to do next? Is the question. Well, this is a car park. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to abandon my car here, and I'm going to start sort of walking. Now, the problem is, I've got a rather distinctive character model. If they've seen me, they're going to be saying, "Well, he's dressed as Pete," and they'll find me fairly quickly. I hear cars. So I'm hiding behind this pillar now. There are lots of ma uh, max-coloured vehicles around. Though that shade of blue, that sort of greyish pale blue, is Max's colour. So yeah, th that means he's he is nearby. He's probably the nearest hunter to me at the moment. So I think I'm actually just going to disappear back in this way a bit and take one of these. I think there's a way through the alleyways over here. Yes, there is. So now I can go, go out of here and, and sneak back round onto the road again. Yes, I can get I can get out of my car and walk if I want. That's absolutely allowed. I'm very very vulnerable if I'm on foot because. Well, I can just get run over, basically. Um, so it's dangerous, but there's no rules against it. Um, and it can... Yeah, oh, there we go. The cars are going pink again now, so I'm potentially safe. Um, let's carry on walking this way. The other problem is, as I said, I'm... The other big problem with walking... Ooh, hello. Um, is that I'm quite a distinctive character model. One that they will notice. So wandering around like this is potentially going to get me in trouble. i am just realised... I'm in America, therefore I'm on the wrong side of the road for what I was planning to do. I was thinking, I know, I'll wait at these lights and steal a car when it pulls up here. But, that's not going to work. But yes, there's absolutely no reason why I couldn't walk, run over to that um, the check the next checkpoint and grab it by, on foot. That's perfectly allowed. Um, oh, the other thing is that stealing cars in this area is often a little bit dangerous because there's lots of gang members around and they have a habit of shooting people who steal cars. So, um, yeah, that's, a, that's fun. Ooh, there's an orange car. That's that. In fact, that actually is Mike. You're asking for trouble. I need to hide. That's Sorry, I went. I went absolutely quiet then because I saw Mike and panicked. Um, which is the fairly standard thing to do when you see Mike, I guess. Let, let, I'm taking this car. Oh, it's unlocked. Even better. The big problem with stealing cars a lot of the time. If that stealing, sorry, stealing parked cars a lot of the time, is you end up smashing the window in order to steal the car. Oh, pfft. okay. I seem to have been found again. That's bad because I'm driving a Volk, uh, an Ingot, which is a fairly poor car. So I'm going to really struggle to get away. Unfortunately, Pete saw me coming out of that, um, uh, coming out of that, uh, what do you call it, uh, car park. And AIs don't do that sort of thing very often. They do occasionally drive out of car parks, but um, but when you um, but when, it, when players see AIs doing that, they get very, very suspicious because it doesn't happen often, all that often. So they'll probably go and investigate. And unfortunately, if they investigate 
a car and it turns out it's not me, then they've they've wasted a minute. They've wasted a minute. If they investigate the car and it turns out it is me, then I'm in trouble. Okay, well, it looks like we're in getting into Max territory around here. See what I mean? This car is absolutely abysmal. It's the slowest thing in the world. Um, but I was kind of desperate. I should have just gone in that. I the problem I have with this game is I need to be a bit more patient. Um, I if I if I'd just gone in there and hidden for a little bit longer, uh, Mike had basically left. So if I if I just hung around for a bit, I would have been okay. But I didn't because I'm impatient. And there there is Max right behind me. Um, Max, in order to make his cars a little bit more obvious, has obnoxious bright red headlights, which makes it absolutely terrifying at night when you see him. Is that Ed? No, it's just a yellow car. There is the checkpoint. I mean, I, I could in theory. Ooh, hello, Mike. I could in theory have stopped and taken the checkpoint. It's, but I don't really like to. I feel it's not the not the feel I'm going for in the game. Um, well, that's got me going in the right direction at least. Um, <laughs> oh dear. I say right direction. I I don't know what the right direction is at this point because use that wall. There we go. <laughs> there, so that that was quite a good tactic because it forced them to all go all to turn round and start going in the opposite direction. The problem is my car isn't fast enough to take advantage of that because they're all right behind me again almost immediately. There is quite a nice tr uh, trick I can do with um, dumping the car into the sea and then swimming away. Um, and I think, given that I'm driving an ingot, that might actually be my best bet. So, let's consider that. Let's see, see if they're still behind me. Yes, they're, they're all there. They're all right there. But, ooh. <laughs> they were all right behind me, but they had some sort of calamity. So, they're no longer actually right there, right behind me. So, if I can pull a sharp turn here like this. Hopefully, they didn't see... They didn't see that. Excellent. Oh, phew. That was... I feel like that was extremely lucky, but you know, sometimes you make your own luck, and I think that one of the nice things about having about the hunters all having lots and lots of hunters chasing me at the same time is that there's a pretty high chance they're all going to get in each other's way. Uh, I see orange cars. That worries me. That's Max going over there. Ah, that is Mike there. Oh no, they're they're still right. They're they're, they're looped around and come come back behind me again. Okay, so. We're going to have to try and do what I did before, but slightly more effectively. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, if I can keep moving and do something unexpected, maybe I can get away from them. They're, they don't seem to be chasing me directly. I don't think they I don't think they know where I am. So I'm going to drive along here. I'm going to come off the road here, up into the get... Ooh. Smack. Oh, no, no, there's, <laughs> there's Mike. He's upside down, but it's still Mike, which is still a problem. Okay, maybe I should have stayed on the motorway a bit longer. And there's Max again. Damn it, Max. Leave me alone. <laughs> Endor braking manoeuvre is not so effective when there's multiple vehicles chasing you. Um, <clears throat> yes, so, as I stated, this um, this ingot... Have, have I mentioned that this ingot was a bad choice of car yet? I can't, I can't remember. Oh, that was... I mean, conveniently, the hunters are attacking each other almost as much as they're attacking me. But still, it's problematic. I think the best thing I can do really is is try and go through narrow alleyways maybe and hope the fact there's several of them behind me is going to be enough to give them issues. Um, it's not. Should we put it that way? Oh, this is... Okay, Max is shooting at me. I've ducked, but um, you can't duck when you're going backwards which, when you're trying to reverse. And re driving forwards is currently difficult because there's... Ooh, there's a gap, there's a gap, there's a gap. Oh no! I think I think I'm in trouble. If I'm not in trouble, then the hunters, well, the hunters need their uh, hunting licenses taken away from them. Um, Mike appears to be shooting Pete for some reason. Maybe Pete tried to run him over. I don't know. I, oh come on! Why wasn't that fatal? I'm absolutely pinned here. Uh, let, let's get out and see. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> He must be north of that then, because I'm east, uh, or was east. The single pin car by itself, surrounded by yellows. And has been AFK there for a while. Yeah. That might have wondered. Is yellow and orange, man? Not, 
Adam Yellowcar from heading west on grass from highway uh, from five That's ways down to highway. What That's I a pink car. You said yellow. Oh, sorry, I meant pink. It's so, like a lot of yellow around, man. It's hit a lot of brain space on the highway heading west. Right here. Now that's coming off at multi hill car park. What kind of car is it? Pink. Heading south. Pink kind of. SUV! Pink SUV! It's either a Coco okay. or, or a Habanero. Where did he come off at um, Multicolor? Left or right? Uh, left, south. Passing change monument now, bearing left. Heading east. Never mind. Still heading east. Uh, turning north, up by the sort of beige. up towards Art Gallery. North approaching Art Gallery. Pit maneuver Art Gallery. He's crashed, he's crashed, he's crashed. Oh. Heading east from Art Gallery. Do we know what oh, Nice effort, Tristan, nice effort. Um, heading east, passing north side of Red Car Park. Going on to higher, so he's going up. And taking the jump down towards Square of Squares, which he did it in a really weird way, possibly it allowed me to clip him. But it didn't stop him. Turning north, Pete took me out. But not like for a nice dinner or anything, like just, you know, crashed. He's in, the he's in the parking lot heading towards the underpass. Underpass turning left, south. Underpass turning uh, left again, going e e east, west, east. Tagged him. Okay, I blocked him. Okay, he's we're in some of the non destructible furniture. Yeah, we're at square squares, by the way, in case anybody's looking for us. I arrived. That was a terrible pit pit. Still a terrible pit pit. Pete has pitted everybody except Lawrence. It's literally the one person you have not made contact with Pete. Otherwise, ten out of ten, hundred percent success. PD turning south. Pete has taken out a random police car. PD bridge. PD bridge going west east. PD bridge going east. Pete's taken out traffic lights. <laughs> you know where you get Lawrence, I just throw it out there. South after uh, bridge. South. Oh, sorry, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, but he crashed into a lamppost. Um, oh! It wasn't Pete that crashed into a lamppost for a change. <laughs> hey, Pete and Lawrence! Everybody <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, the game mode's complete. Moving on. Uh, Back over the bridge? Yep. If only you didn't fall over, it, that would have been glorious. I'm sorry, I, I might have hit you. It's fine. Uh, still heading west. Straight square, west. Squares. Yep. South, uh, one after square squares. You Just saw before that construction site. So nice! <laughs> Passing Simeon. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Under the bridge into ghetto. <laughs> Called out the video because that was beautifully styled out. Uh, I'm so happy with that. Down to the right in uh, ghetto, approaching heliport. At RGB, at RGB, yeah. On two wheels. Right. Uh, passing the tram station. Nope, going round and onto the low way. Uh, heading south. In towards the stream. Not in the storm lane yet, but on the grass bits next to it, underneath the highway. We're coming back out at... Uh, wow, he did that jump. Oh, he didn't do the jump, okay. I was about to say, ah. very impressed. Helpful. Yeah. Onto yeah, the highway, on the highway, heading uh, north. Northbound, northbound, going east. The highway return to the east. Copy. Uh, He might have been the one that was. Know. He might have turned back and going north. No, 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 no. I don't think he did. Pete, you're 
these. Yeah, this car on the corner Where is corner? taking off. Is it? Yeah, yeah, he's taking off at a, a decent speed. What car? Where? More specific. Uh, passing Beacon, yeah, so we're on the edge road of Ghetto. Um, on the other side of Storm Drain, he's in a like a hatchback. Remember the old Ford, whatever they was, the 1990s Ford hatchbacks. He's in one of those. Passing Church now, heading south. This is definitely him. It's pink. Uh, we are heading northwest pink onto pink. the main road, crossover rail pink. lines, passing the car park, taking a left. Uh, where are we now? We're going. Okay, We're just in back streets. Street, Grove Street, if we go straight. Into Thank you. Grove I don't street, really no? know the ghetto, so that's really helpful. Thank you. I do. Uh, we're behind Mega Mall into Grove Street. We're turning right. We're towards LTD gas station. We're alongside of the storm drain. Side. Side of the. Yep. Uh, we're going straight into Gerald's area. Uh, uh, telegraph pole there. Towards Franklin. Eight. At the checkpoint now, church checkpoint. Get the That's the one, Mike. Um, we rolled him. And we punted him. That's a Who's Volvo, that? Pete. That's what he said. He said Ford. We're at low boil now. Oh, did I say Ford? I meant Volvo. Sorry. I was thinking about ten things at once. I meant I meant Volvo. Lagged the highway. Ed, we're on towards the highway at RGB southbound. I'm right behind you. He's moving over onto the correct side of the highway. Still progressing along, keeping right, coming off at Spaghetti. Turning left, going straight over off road, off road. So it's sort of straight between the things off road uh, to airport, what's called thingy bomb. That's my call, use it. Tristan! That was uh, Max's that was fault. Entirely your fault. No, it was entirely <laughs> Max's <laughs> fault. <laughs> no, you were too slow, you didn't go out of my way. <laughs> like I said, you're entirely your fault. Anyone you want to have eyes? Yeah, let's turn left, 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 left. Left back here, Pete. I do have eyes, but not on him. And I think I saw him go straight off in the distance. More description Where? would be helpful. As in off road. Oh. Ow. I oh, I found him again on the highway, uh, just above the uh, recycle plant. Now going northbound, to where we drive, drove earlier, went off the highway earlier. Oh, he went. He got there quick. And he's back off at Ghetto Church area. Oh no, we're going underneath the highway there. Uh, he's going off at the Banner Hotel, the Red Car Park South bit. To your right, Mike. Oh, sorry, no, that's, yeah, that's oh, the Banner Hotel. Here he is, here he is, here he is. near Simeon. I'm really doing dodgy stuff here, in terms of... I was uh, we're at the big side. blue construction site, the south side, at Morse Mutuals. Direction? Head east. East. But he was kind of... Still, still there, Simeon's still there, we were very small. North. north towards high and lower. He's spun at high and lower. Oh, sorry, Max. No, kind I of shielded him. him. He's gone to his favourite car park. Just, ah, Hello. I'll tell you what, you go in there and I'll stay out here. And I shall barricade the... Oh, he's north. Side. He's coming out on the north side. Yes. Turning in west. The middle. North and ah. higher, lower. You guys all bar like barreled him forward. It's a woman in a blouse and a jacket, if that helps, if you go and catch him. Woman in a blouse and a jacket, what colour jacket, what colour jacket? Dark. Grey, I think. Isn't that you yeah, guys? Dark. What, what colour? <laughs> Pete, it's you! It's not me! Also, who's shooting me? Stop! <laughs> Why are you shooting Pete, mate? Why not Mike? It's Pete, it's Get Pete, him! Pete. Get in this car, get in this car, get in this car! Get in this car, get in this car! No. Oh. He was dressed as me. That was very sneaky. Ah, 
Ah, uh, so that's why you killed Pete, okay. He was dressed, he was dressed as Pete, which is why I was there going, I don't know who this is, but then apparently I was shooting Pete or something. The, yeah, the, the issue you have here is, it was me who same. ID'd your character model, and didn't realise it was my character model. <laughs> it was, yeah. I was scribing it, and then everyone was like, it's you, Pete. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs>